Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel, and today I am doing a double page layout. I have this old paper, and I think it's from a company called Creative Imaginations. Uh, that is the paper with the um, diamonds on it. The one with the polka dots on it, I'm not sure where it came from, but it matched perfectly to the photos that I'm using. I am scrapbooking some photos from a father-daughter dance. It's a Girl Scout event that my daughter and my niece went to with their dads um, many years ago. So uh, I know the turquoise paper is a very odd combination to put with these two pieces that have the diamonds, but it matched my niece's outfit perfectly and the little polka dots on it are not solid. In the close-ups you'll see that they're, they're little dots that make up the polka dots. And for some reason, I don't know if it just reminded me of records or um, or what, but it just it made me think 50s and the theme of this dance was the 1950s. So the girls are wearing 1950s um, style skirts and this layout is really kind of telling the story about their outfits which were made by myself and my mom and uh, the girls actually did help make those outfits and they chose uh, a lot of the stuff that went into the outfits so it kind of talks about that and then it also talks about the fun time they had with their dads um, it was an annual event that they would attend they'd go to dinner first and then to the dance so I have decided to go ahead and map my photos on white and then on black because I really wanted them to pop and I'm not going to cut the edge of the black off of the two that are on the right hand page because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Sometimes I, I leave the background paper sticking out to kind of be a landing place for an, um, an embellishment group, but at this point I'm not really entirely certain, so I'm just going to leave it there. I can always trim it down later if needed. I only have one sheet of this turquoise paper, and one of my go-to designs is to put it down at an angle such as you see there and then cut the edges off and use it on another portion of the paper and it works out really well for these types of layouts They're, it's a kind of a fun layout um, celebrating kind of a fun event and I want it to be a little more playful and so I didn't want to make everything you know very linear and straight So in order to do this layout, what I do is I stick it down on one. You'll see that I'm just going to trim off the bottom edge there. And the reason I'm not trimming along the red, reddish, orangish paper there um, is because I want to keep those two triangles intact and use them somewhere else on the sheet um, rather than having cut down the entire edge of the tri uh, diamond paper and then having two triangles on each side. I'm not sure if I'm explaining that very well, but you'll see what I'm talking about here as I go ahead and put these on the edge of, or the outer two corners of the um, layout, the double page layout. Kind of ties everything together. Now I'm pulling out some different fonts for father-daughter dance, which is what I'm going to title this. And I know I want to use father in a stronger, more masculine font and daughter in a softer, more swirly font. And so I've pulled out these um, letters. The father ones are from the Anna Griffin Willow Collection. And uh, they kind of have a white outline on them, and I kind of like that, so kind of makes it pop. And then the word daughter, I'm going to have the ascenders of the D and the T and the H overlap father so that it's nestled right below. And then I'm just looking for another another lowercase font for the word dance. And I know I want the A sender of the letter D in dance to um, pop up just in front of the D in daughter and then be nestled. Sorry about the momentary background noise there. Apparently, Alexa thought we wanted to listen to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, 
and that is actually not the case so now Alexa is turned off <laughs> so here I've pulled out some more thickers um, both the daughter and the word dance are just out of uh, some black thickers and I use my ruler to line up my letters um, I have a thicker alignment guide and then I also have a centering ruler and so you can see there the father is on one and daughter is on the other so I can kind of figure out where exactly I want them before I adhere them down to the page. This is really super helpful when moving things around. I know a lot of people use the um, wax paper but the this works really well for me and I just stick the rulers right back into my scrapbooking bag and they're always handy and available. And you'll also notice that I have trimmed down the black mat behind the photo so it's no longer sticking out. I've done that on the top one. I have not yet done it on the bottom photo, uh, but I will be doing that. I've decided I don't really need it for the landing place for embellishments and at this point I really don't know what I'm doing as far as embellishments. I know the paper is super, super busy, especially with these two papers put together. Um, so I'm going to have to find something that is very neutral to kind of tone it down a bit. And you'll see here I do not have a letter C in this font, so I've taken the Q and I've cut the tail off of it so that I can use it as a C. I do that all the time um, with letters that I'm not using very often. I've also made threes, E's, and um, you know it, it works out and when you're flipping through the pages and reading the layouts you don't ever know it or at least most people don't know it um, so it's a good way to extend the use of your letters when you're missing one I'm using my fine line applicator to make sure that those letters uh, are stuck firmly onto the page. The ones from uh, Anna Griffin are actually pretty darn sticky and they stay really well, but the ones from Thickers uh, are not super thick, uh, super sticky anymore. And I believe the actually the back of one of them came off, the stickiness came off. So I'm using my fine line applicator and that's got some crystal lacquer from I think it's Sakura in it and I love that glue it works out really well for me and uh, never seems to clog as long as I keep my fine line applicator closed when I'm not using it so um, that's what I'm using there I'm also using it to ensure that everything stays down because that polka dotted paper actually has glitter on it and uh, things obviously don't stick as well to glitter and I've pulled out my boxes that have embellishments in them and they're all sorted by color. This box that you see here is white or um, silver and I'm going to go through that and pull out anything I think is going to be useful on this layout and then I'm also going to go through the black box and pull out things that might be useful. In my past few videos I've kind of cut this process out I went ahead and left it in this one. I just sped it up super fast so you can kind of see um, my process. Everything that I'm pulling out into over to the right are things that I might be using. Anything I throw back into the lid of the box that I'm looking at is is kind of something I'm not interested in using. I found this frame. This is actually from an old sticker sheet from Basic Gray and it has the red on it and the white and I want to go ahead and use that with this black washi tape that has hearts on it. If I would have been really smart, I would have just put the washi tape down onto some scrap paper and then put the frame on and cut it. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently I wasn't really thinking because I'm just trying to attach the washi tape to the sticker and um, all of the little holes around the outside, are they are actually holes so you can see through it. So I only have this really small sliver of ad adhes adhesive backed uh, frame that I can stick the washi tape to and as we all know things don't stick to washi very well um, especially when it's just one little edge but I made it work and um, I got all four pieces of that frame cut and I put it down into the four um, embellishment cluster areas that I'm going to be using and that was a that little oval tag that you saw there was a tag from a canning set that um, somehow made it into my stash 
and I tried really hard to get it to work, but it was just too white and too um, too much white, so it, it got put back into the box. I do try it a couple of times, but um, yeah, it's, it's not going to be useful. Now, I really like the uh, acrylic piece that says Remember on it, and it fit really nicely above Father, and so I went ahead and decided to go ahead and use that. I know it makes the title a little bit weird, Remember Father Daughter Dance, um, but I guess it's really Remember Father Daughter Dance. <laughs> I don't know if that makes much difference, but in my mind it worked. So I went ahead and uh, stuck that to the page using my tiny attacher. And now I am just sorting out embellishments. Anything that I have multiple pieces of, I am putting into um, the spots. There's some little um, black stickers that have some writing on them and they're all use the same font. I've put one in each little embellishment cl cluster and I'm just kind of like sticking them over there without adhering them down to kind of see what is going to work and what I want. I see I'm working on the on the embellishment cluster on the lower left hand side and I want to make sure there's some labels there so capture some of the journaling um, and then I want to make sure that there are some um, some pieces that are in different shapes for visual interest. I've got some pieces hanging down there that are tags. I won't end up using those. I have a hard time using tags hanging down on a layout. Um, one of my goals is to go ahead and get those tags onto something and do it pretty soon. Um, I also have a hard time with frames and you probably saw me pull out frames a little while ago and um, I have a hard time getting those onto pages too, so I'm going to challenge myself to use those. The sorting my embellishment by color has really helped me to be a lot faster at, uh, at putting my layouts together. Oh, there I am again with the, the canning label. It's not going to make it on the page, folks. Um, just give it up and put it away. Uh, anyway, it's really helped me to be a lot faster at putting my layouts together. I can quickly find the things that I want. I know it looks like it takes me a long time to go through those boxes, but it's really only a few minutes, which is a lot faster than um, hunting all over for the right embellishment through all of the packages that I've got. So that's it took me many years to actually go ahead and decide to do this sorting. Um, and finally one day I just said, you know what, that's going to happen. and. Um, I'm going to do it. If I regret it, I won't sort anything else, but um, right now, everything, pretty much everything I have is sorted by color. I'm making a stack of labels over here, and I am going to use that also for some of my journaling. And it's really where I'm going to talk about the outfits the girls are wearing. They've made their poodle skirts. Well, my daughter has a red poodle skirt on, and my niece has a poodle skirt, but it's got music notes on it instead of an actual dog. Um, so it's going to talk about that, and then um, I will also talk about how much fun they they always had with their going with their dads, my brother and my husband, um, to go to these dances. Now here I'm trying to kind of sort out some more what I'm going to put. I've got some um, black. They're not really enamel dots, but they're kind of like enamel dots. Um, actually, those were hearts that I was putting on. I will be putting some um, little gems on that are kind of like enamel dots, but smaller. And um, I didn't know that I'd have enough for each little area. So I just started by putting two in each area, and then I went back and added a third one. And here I am adding some chipboard uh, phrases from Freckled Fawn to each little embellishment cluster. I started with a black one on each, each area and then added a white one to each area. And that, I think, gave it some uh, good visual interest, and the sayings on them are super cute. Um, I really do like these little things from Freckled Fawn, and I don't have a whole lot of them left. So I might be having to order some more of those kind of things. And I, I like that they're dimensional. So here are the little um, gems that I'm putting on to the page and uh, sorting them by you know, a couple in each embellishment cl cluster at a time. So I think I ended up putting some green ones and some black ones and then underneath the word dance I have some white puffy hearts. 
there's a set of six of them. I'm going to actually only use five because I like to use things in odd numbers on these pages. Um, it kind of, I don't know, makes things balance better. And so that's what I'm putting on there. They are very subtle um, because they're white. They don't stand out a ton, but it just gives a little more visual interest to the title. And here my letter C was coming up, so I wanted to make sure I got that stuck down. And then just finishing off the last few embellishment clusters. I really appreciate your time and um, choosing to watch my videos. If you are a subscriber, uh, thank you so much. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love for you to subscribe down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to try and do uh, more of the double page layouts. I know there are not so many of these on um, YouTube, and I'm hoping to get more of these out for, for your guys' enjoyment. Last but not least, I have these music notes from Recollections, and in spite of taking violin lessons and clarinet lessons for a few years in middle school, I still have no idea how to read a music note, and I have no idea if I'm putting them on upside down or right side up, so um, I think that's something my husband's going to have to double check for me since uh, he does know how to do that, and um, anyway, I didn't have these in my black box, um, so I hunted them down in uh, my stash, and so I wanted to make sure I got those on the layout. I nearly forgot about them, but uh, here they are, and thank you again. So stick around, and um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video, and have a great day.